dear students welcome to the video lecture series on food and cosmetic analysis in this ninth video you are going to learn about analysis of reducing sugar in honey by coles ferricinide method or len enon method so in this video by using two methods we are going to see how we can do the analysis of reducing sugar present in honey so here is the detailed procedure analysis of reducing sugar in honey by coles ferricinide method first we are going to see how to analyze the reducing sugar present in the honey this method involve redox titration for estimation of sugar in honey the analysis is performed in two steps first step is a standardization of ferricinide solution so how to do it a appropriate volume of 1% potassium ferricinide solution is taken in evaporating dish and titrated under boiling condition against standard lactose solution by using methylene blue as an indicator then next step is a estimation of reducing sugar so first take a definite quantity of diluted sample solution of honey titrate this sample solution against standardized potassium ferricinate solution under boiling condition by using methylene blue as an indicator the dispersion of color of indicator determine the end point by recording the burette reading and applying conversion factor we can determine the sugar content of the sample so basically by using this redox titration we can determine the amount of sugar present in the honey then uh, analysis of reducing sugar in honey is also done by using another method known as a len enon method so this method is the same as we studied for the analysis of sugar in a milk sample so we are also going to see this method for estimation or analysis of sugar in honey sample so this is based on a determination of volume of a test solution required to reduce completely a non volume of alkaline copper reagent the end point is indicated by use of an internal indicator methylene blue this dye is reduced to methylene white by a slight excess of reducing agent reducing sugar over that necessary to reduce all the copper so here we will see the detail procedure however the methylene white is rapidly oxidized back to methylene blue due to presence of air hence it is necessary to exclude the air from the sample so this is accomplished by performing the titration while the solution being analyzed in boiling condition so to remove the air from the sample solution it is necessary to do the titration under boiling solution so that the air will be removed from the solution and that air will not uh, undergo oxidation process so here is the detail procedure about how to analyze the sugar present in the honey first take a sample of honey and treat it with copper sulfate solution and sodium hydroxide the nawh added should be sufficient to precipitate completely the copper as a hydroxide the solution is filtered and the filtrate is transferred in a burette here the mixed filling reagent is taken in a conical flask and is placed on a wire gauze and it is heated to boiling it is rapidly titrated against the sugar solution filled in burette till the dye gets reduced so this whole procedure can be shown in a form of picture in a next slide so here the steps are again showing uh, take a diluted sample of honey here by mistakenly milk is written so please consider is as a honey diluted sample of honey is treated with copper sulfate pentahydrate solution and sodium hydroxide to precipitate completely 
the copper as a hydroxide so here we can see the procedure so this is the sample of a honey this sample of honey in which nawh is added and copper sulfate is added and this copper sulfate is precipitated as a copper hydroxide the solution is filtered and filtrate is transferred into the burette so here is the next step whatever the copper hydroxide precipitated is a filter to remove the residue and to collect the filtrate this filtrate we have to transfer into burette and then we have to use it for next step so in the next step the filtrate is transferred into a burette rapidly titrated against a mixed filling reagent till the dye get reduced so here we can see the filtrate is transferred into the burette and then it is titrated rapidly with a boiled mixed filling reagent okay so here it is shown how to prepare the mixed filling reagent first prepare filling a then prepare filling b and mix it together and boil it and use for the titration so it is shown that 7 g of copper sulfate pentahydrate dissolve in distilled water containing two drops of dilute sulfuric acid so this we have to take a 15 ml then a filling b solution in which 35 g of potassium tartrate and 12 g of nawh in 100 ml of distilled water so this will give the filling b solution so we have to mix this filling a solution and filling b solution we have to boil it and then we have to use for the titration so this solution we have to titrate with the filtrate from the burette reading we are able to get the analysis of the uh, reducing sugar present in the honey so dear students in this video you have learned about the analysis of reducing sugar in honey by two different method first was the college ferric acid method and second was the len enon method so please uh, learn next topic of this unit in my next video so till then thank you very much for watching this video and i wish you a very happy e learning